Hey everybody, it's SoCal Mike with Gaming Auction Site, GameGavel.com, and the Retro Gaming Roundup Podcast, here with another video review, this time of Double Dragon Neon. Double Dragon was just released into the Xbox Live Arcade and PlayStation Network stores this morning for a price of $9.99. Let's go ahead and check it out and see if that was a good deal or not. Now, of course, all you guys remember Double Dragon back from the uh, late 80s, 1987, in the arcades. And, of course, it was ported to countless video gaming consoles and computers back in the day and spun off two sequels. Double Dragon Neon gives you a real nice intro of uh, all of the different basic moves that you can do. Uh, there's quite a bit that you can do here that you couldn't do in the first game. And since the game just came out this morning, I have not had a chance to learn and memorize all of those moves. Now, mixtapes play a big role in this game. Mixtapes, as it says, are your key to conquering Double Dragon Neon. They power you up. So basically, when you kill enemies, they'll drop off these cassette tapes. You can pick these tapes up and uh, then change between these different songs and different power-ups as you go. But you can only hold 10 of these tapes. In order to hold more of these tapes, you got to take them all to a tape smith who does, what, what do you think? He, of course, he makes you a mixtape with and combines all of those moves onto one tape so you can carry more. This game is full of 80s cheese and 80s bubblegum rock music and crap loads of neon. So without any further delay, let's check out this game. Here we go, guys. I'm just going to start out on level one. Now, I've played this through uh, level two where you'll run into the first boss. Here's how the game starts. This should look real familiar to all of you guys that played this game back in the day. So, of course, you want to collect money throughout this game that can be used later on in the various stores that you encounter throughout the levels to buy power-ups and weapons. So you can pick up the weapons left by your fallen enemies and use them against them. You get power-ups by, by collecting these two-liter bottles of Dragon Kick Cola. The seductress Linda. These women in here are ruthless.
right, guys, we're going to switch to a little bit of level two now so you can check out some of the multi-level play action. Fighting on top of buildings and rooftops. So as you progress through the different levels, it takes you back to this screen here where you can see an 8-bit uh, version of either Billy or Jimmy there. So now we're moving on to level 2. Now at this point, I've earned uh, a power-up, which I'll use uh, free -shipping. So I picked up a uh, hair pick there. I was supposed to throw it at the enemies, and I screwed that up. All right, I'm going to go to uh, another part of this level here so you can check that out so here's one of the uh, stairs you can go up the stairs here up this ladder here's actually one of the stores that you go in and uh, buy different things with the money that you've collected now these will be uh, scattered throughout the different levels So here we are coming up to just this uh, section here uh, where you can see the tape smith. You can go in there and make your mixtapes right there. We got some dudes to beat here and then you're going to see uh, this game taken to a new level.
So here you'll see the game take this uh, new spin right here. So here you're going to get a catch a glimpse of uh, Marion and the fiend that took her for the first time here. Guys, I'll let you figure out who this is when you get this game yourself. For 10 bucks, this is a bargain. Great graphics, great 80s cheese sound and rock. And uh, I think this guy's going to kick my ass. Let's check him out real quick. I'm going to let him work some of his magic on me here so you can check him out. Anyway, guys, hope you guys dug this uh, playthrough review and everything. I think with that move right there, I'm going to take off.